shit talker black. Now, in this movie, My Eternal Contract, Chris and Nancy are summoned to go back into what I'll just call prison for the second time. Neither one of them know why. At this time, their baby is now two years old. But uh, this is like jail. You know, you get your uniform and you get your shoes. And they go through this for the second time and they find a way to escape. This girl right here, she stays in the RPF. <laughs> Must be where she lives. So now they find a way to escape and they get to uh, move into their own apartments. Also in this movie, they show the rigorous um, conditions that uh, Nancy and Chris had to go through in order to get out, you know, all the papers signed. The thing about it is all of the uh, Scientologists, they all appear to say the same thing, but yet uh, David Miscarriage is still not hampered, uh, not the police still haven't did anything to David Miss Cabbage. This shit is so odd because uh, it was the government that said that yeah, even though it was a cold, they shut him down very fast. They did the same thing to York. None of these things ever happened in the nation of Yahweh, and I'm sure none happened in uh, the nation that York built. But yet, this nation that a pink man built. It's still going on. This is fucking ridiculous. I reached a point where I just Oh yeah, they also had to pay ten percent of their earnings to uh the Church of Scientology. Didn't believe in Scientology anymore. What would you think if I decided that I didn't want to be a Scientologist anymore? Pay attention to his face. It appears that maybe he's angry at her or that he still wants to stay there. I was a big surprise. I very much considered myself a Scientologist. And that Nancy would withdraw from that would be a problem for me. There was trouble brewing. Right after she says that, the phone rings. Neither one of them talk about how their apartment was tapped. Your apartment have to be tapped for you to say something. And then check this out. I get a call that I'm wanted at the attorney's office in Scientology. Yeah, that's how it works. See, now she has a call that she's wanted in the, the attorney's office in Scientology. But they never say that their apartment was tapped. But Scientology will do a target like that. Also, another Scientologist, an ex-Scientologist and something I was watching, he said that Scientology called people assets. Now, it read a page, uh, uh, like, are you targeted? And on there, it says, we're not targeted individuals. We are assets. Wow. No, they knew by tapping her apartment, she wanted no part of Scientology anymore. So I agreed to it. Where does your allegiance lie? To Scientology? Of course. That's a rock slam, Nancy. The counselor mm. told me they wanted to help me sort mistakes or sins, whatever you want to call it, that I had done. I want to know. She's wanted to know anything and everything. 
you know, this is so odd. This is a church. The, the first word they put up there is church. Then of Scientology, a church. And uh, I have talked to people about the Church of Scientology, and uh, that's what they say. No, uh, the Church of Scientology is a church. But the thing that I, I see about those that I talk to about whatever I'm going through, they don't want to study anything. I study this shit extensively. Day in and day out, I make myself stay woke. It's like I'm obsessed with, a, with studying it. And... These people around me, they've never studied it. All they know is Scientology is a church. But they will tell me I am wrong without even looking at any piece of evidence. Yet all these people can go into Scientology and they trust this knowledge that they've been given. They haven't studied anything, but they trust the knowledge that they have been given. But those around me uh, don't. They don't want them to trust me, but they won't even hear enough to when I say, hey, go study it and see. Just watch a couple of the videos of the ex-Scientologist members, and you will see. Church of Scientology is an awesome and awesomely dangerous church. Mm. I mean, do you think he'd be happy if you shifted from us? Not shifting. She'd be wonderful, and then boom, she'd be a crazy lady. You are either with us or you are against us. Hmm. He was tortured. It, that's what. I wonder, did that come from Scientology? You are either with us or you're against us. Seemed like to me, it was torture. I would go home. She was still there with me, burrowing into my mind. I want to know how we can help you to get back. This interrogation went on for a good, over a period of 10 days, six to 10 hours each day. I see selfish. Damn. What I see is Nancy selfish. Damn. All I wanted was to get out of this room. <laughs> my granny said the devil punts his finger and says that it says things about other people that they are. So now they want to call her selfish. But Scientology is the most selfish and dangerous church slash religion on the planet. So now she's getting V2K, but they won't tell you it's V2K. This is what I'm saying. These people are only telling a little bit of what Scientology does. They won't even explain what Scientology is. Scientology is the study of science. And they are dealing with the science of your mind. But no, no Scientology, no Scientologist, whether they're ex-member or not, will give you that information. Which is so easy. Scientology, study of science. Wow. I heard this huge crack. Now she's getting V2K. Mind had cracked. Oh my God. You're either with us or you are. She said the lady was there in her head, but I'm sure after so many days and so many hours she would be. However, they said she had cracked, and uh, this lady, um, in her documents, she loses her mind. 
And at the end she gains it back and then they go and live happily ever after. This is what I'm saying about the ex scientologists What happens is that they live happily ever after, but then they come and they take uh, anyone, you know. It doesn't matter if you heard of them, didn't hear of them, turned them down, didn't even know that there was a Church of Scientology. And they turn our lives into an everyday living hell. And from the first day I saw this movie, it stays in my mind because I know that now there's so many melanated ones there. There have always been melanated ones there, just not so many that you can see. And now they start sending these melanated ones, the NOI, to London and all that. And if you go and you just listen to the ex-Scientologists speak, you will know that they have, when they write letters, uh, it's like jail. Before the letters go out, they are read. When letters come in, they are read, then giving given to whomever the letter is for. Jill does that shit. In these letters, you must write that you are, you know, you are happy. You cannot write that you are unhappy. You have to write uh, all these happy thoughts, whether you're happy or not, although happy is this spell. And um, now, you know, in the melanated man, a lot of us, you know, we, we don't have money to travel to London and Europe and all these places and so they'll be traveling now they should have watched a lot of the Sea Org ex-Scientologist members of video before they decided to travel here and there one ex-Scientologist she caused that shit um, human trafficking now you're all the way over there and all your, the ones you know are here, even if they're in Scientologists, when you write them, you can't tell them the truth of what's going on. You're just held captive. Well, uh, it's so, uh, to see so many, or to think of so many melanated ones going right back into a physical slavery. That's the end of this one, um, shit talker that he wrote.